You sent your project over to Adobe Media Encoder to be exported and somehow there's a failed error. Well, do you have to start all over again or is there a two-click solution to get that thing to fire over again? Internet, what's going on? It's your boy Robert T. Garden back again with a T. Garden quick tip tutorial. Just the tip, just enough to see if it feels good. I'm always finding new and interesting things throughout the Adobe suite, and today is no exception. And when I do, I like to share them with you fine people because maybe you're doing the Googles and you figure out, eh, this is a cool thing, and you find this video, and I don't really know. What we're talking about today is I had an error in Adobe Media Encoder trying to export a couple different files. Uh, something got unlinked and so the export failed. And when I was playing around with this, instead of having to resend the project back through Premiere to Adobe Media Encoder, I right clicked and found this amazing new discovery. I'd like to share it with you now. So here I am, I've actually finished these exports, but before it had the uh, fail little caution symbol up here and the status said failed. Big giant sad face for sure. But as I was about to go back into Premiere and re-export these settings, I right clicked on the file itself, on the thing that I sent through Adobe Media Encoder and I saw this reset status. If you click reset status, what this is actually going to do is give you the ability to do an entirely new export even though the status has failed. So again, I went back into Premiere. I made sure that I fixed the error. It was a relinking of footage. Uh, and so I fixed that error, set reset status. And as you'll notice, it immediately goes back to status is ready. And if I come up here, I can actually start to re-export that file. Now, I don't really wanna do that because I don't want duplicate exported files just for the sake of a YouTube video. You guys understand what happens when I click that ready again. By the way, if you're not using Adobe Media Encoder to export your files. I don't know what you're doing. I put a video up on how to export super fast from a couple of years back. Nothing has changed except things are now exporting even faster through Adobe Media Encoder. So if you are not exporting your files through Adobe Media Encoder, you're still doing it in Premiere. You're basically living in the dark ages. We have electricity now. We have these wonderful things called cell phones and computers, and we can talk to people in new and amazing, interesting ways. You're halfway there. Just go the rest of the way to Adobe Media Encoder and you'll be just fine with your exports, I promise. Anyway, again, quick tip tutorial, nothing to belabor the point, but Here's another little thing that you can put into your toolkit that you can use to impress your friends and all the people that you work with and go look at all these cool things that I know how to do. Little do they know that you found them from Tea Garden Quick Tip Tutorials. All right, ladies and germs, if you found this thing helpful, go ahead and share it with anyone that you think might think that this thing's pretty cool. If you like the video, like the damn video. If you haven't already, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I post content like this on a weekly basis on filmmaking tips and the business of being a creative. We'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.